Yeah, adrift is a description of Bernadette's yearning to be alone to not have to deal with the complexity of human relationships. And as the book carries on, you work out why she feels that she doesn't want to have to deal with human relationships. Um, I think Adrift would have been the perfect title. However, <laughs> I'm sure as anyone could find if they've tried to look up the book as Adrift, there are about 20 pages of books called Adrift. <laughs> so it's never gonna work. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so it was coming out of the subplot and actually we we struggled with that quite a bit um, I wanted to talk about Bernadette put, she makes herself the storyteller so it's her way of isolating herself from her friends is she considers herself an observer from the outside rather than engaging so she's the storyteller um, and the mosaicist actually is the, the person she's fallen in love, in love with um, mm. with his own sort of creative that she thinks of as um, using the fairy tale tropes again. He's, he's the magician. Um, he's in the background. So neither of them are engaging in her mind with the, the world um, that actually makes up the story. And so that was um, the story behind the subtitle. Um, in reality, that was quite painful to find. People, I, I did put it out there, got people's opinions. Mosaicist, people were like, but I've never heard that word before. I won't be able to spell it if I look it up. I won't be able to pronounce it if I buy it. Um, and it was also felt, well, actually, the mosaicist is actually only half of Bernie's life. It's not just about who she falls in love with. It's also the family she comes from. And so it felt like there's too much emphasis on the mosaicist. And so it... I think emphasizing storyteller as well, put the weight back onto the main character. Because this one, unlike Helen the Grand Beast, this one is told solely in her voice. It's a very um, unique, very intense voice. So it's important to capture that part of her in the, the subtitle. 